talk about seats. And for the track day guys, you know, once you get beyond novice and intermediate and you're getting serious, you know, aside from your, your safety equipment, your helmet, your gloves and your shoes, remember gloves and shoes are every bit as important as your helmet as far as I'm concerned. You need to be thinking about seats, seats and restraints, keeping yourself in the seat. Uh, once people, you know, people don't realize how much you actually use your knee, your hip, you know, your elbows to keep yourself in the seat. You've gone around corners, you're kind of bracing yourself all over the place. Well, if you don't have to brace yourself, all of a sudden you can focus more on your driving. And seats, I got to tell you, this, this, this past season, getting driving seats has been like, you know, trying to find hen's teeth. They have been, they've been coming in really, really slowly. A lot of them are coming from overseas and you know the issues they've had over there. So huge delivery issues. We finally have gotten some seats that we're using that worked out really well. So I want, I want to touch on that for a little bit. This is a seat we just kind of brought into our system because some of our other seats are just on continual back order. But the thing about, the thing about a good driving seat you need to be thinking about is you want that seat to help hold you in place. You know, you don't want to brace yourself. Uh, you want the seat to do the work for you and then also the harnesses. Well, this is, this is a good typical, what I call a sports seat. Um, I look at seats in, in, in three categories, a sports seat, a club seat, and then a race seat. Now, a sports seat is something that the back actually goes up and down uh, so that, you know, you can kind of have some adjustment to it and you can get in and out of the car pretty easy. Now, a club seat, that moves up a notch. That's if you're really serious. And a club seat is more of a, a shell. You know, it's a one-piece seat. Uh, it's fixed. And you have to use a different type of uh a mount for it. You get mounts that have a whole bunch of holes in the sides. So you can tip it up back, move it all over the place. And of course, race seats will have like a halo. And I, I strongly recommend against a race seat for track days. Uh, unless you've got a removable steering wheel, getting in and out with your helmet on and a race seat can be a real challenge. So for, the, for most people, a good club seat is, is really what you're looking for. And you know, the important parts of a, of a, of a club seat is hard to see because it's black. You've got these bolsters on either side to hold your hips in place. You've also got these shoulder bolsters and it's, and it's deep. You just kind of sit into it. So just sit, sitting in the seat alone makes a huge difference. Now, it, it's like the first time you drive with a good set of harnesses or a good seat, you're just, you're totally amazed what a difference it makes. Because all of a sudden you're focusing on driving, not trying to hold yourself in place. Now, this is kind of a high level uh, restraint system. And uh, we've got we got from our good friends at Impact, which we've been carrying for our advanced people. And this is a six point uh, restraint system: the two shoulders, the two laps, and the uh, the double uh, crotch belt. Uh, a lot of people call this an anti-submarine belt. They think that the reason for that is so you don't slide underneath it with an impact. Well, that's actually that's not the case. And we had uh, in in the Speed Therapy Academy, we had a master class on restraints. And Ben O'Connor from Impact came in and talked to us about the structure of a seat belt, how they're designed, how it's supposed to work, how you're supposed to have them in the car. And this has more to do with keeping this, the lap belt right across the, the center of, of, of your, above your hips so that it, does, so it, does, it doesn't move around. It keeps that in place. So, and this is, you know, if you're doing any, any kind of belt like this, I always go for the cam lock. This is hard to see because it's black, you know, everything disappears in black. With cam lock, it's just one simple click and everything comes apart. Okay, now we also have for, uh, for track day people, uh, what we, I call a rally a rally harness. That uh, it's, it's actually a four point and instead of having all the pieces that plug in, it just hooks together like a, like a regular seat belt. And that, you know, for, for just normal track day, that's, an, that's a good combination too. So we've got, we finally got these seats. We've actually, this is the interesting part. These come from the UK and we had them, uh, originally they came in, but they had the wrong seat bottoms on it. There was no hole in the seat bottom for the submarine, for the submarine, for the crotch strap. So we actually, they had to, uh, it was a big mistake. So we just got, get, just got the seat bottoms in, I think Thursday. So we put it together and I thought I'd show it to you. But this, I'm really happy with the seat. It's good material. It's really strong, really, really comfortable. And if you're looking looking for a, a decent seat uh, for your track day car, even for the street, I mean, you don't have to be on track to enjoy a really good seat. Now, I know some of the some of the new Mustangs come with Recaros, which are great. But if your car doesn't come with Recaros, this is a pretty good option because even driving around town, I mean, even on a long trip, 
it it's becomes very very comfortable so that's kind of a little bit on uh, on on seats and harness belts and like i say in the academy we do a whole a whole uh, whole evening is dedicated to restraints and how they all work and of course what, what, I, what i don't have here that we also highly recommend once you get beyond uh, novice is a Heinz device or head and neck shoulder restraint uh, that if I mean if you never you always want to prepare for the worst uh, hope for the best prepare for the worst and i strongly recommend that anybody that's advanced for sure you should have a Heinz device uh, to protect yourself uh, and again in the academy we went through when we're when we're talking about safety we actually had some pictures and videos of what happens with and without a Heinz device in a forward impact so there's a couple of tips on uh, our, our track type stuff <clears throat> 